All right, 38 special versus nine millimeter in our federal HST. And I'm doing this test because I have quite a few requests to test this HST in a four inch barrel because pretty much nobody's done it. I think Mr. Guns and Gear did it, but his results were a little bit you know, questionable because I think he had more velocity in a snub nose than he did in the four inch barrel. But on the other hand, that does make sense that you would not get a, much of a velocity increase because the way this is loaded is it's all the way down in the case. So what you're essentially doing is you're putting your, um, your case capacity down really low which means that you're not using a lot of powder to get the pressure that it has and that's a plus p pressure so essentially what you have is a round that is very efficient in a short barrel but it's about half as powerful as a lot of the 38 special plus p rounds out there so what i wanted to do to make this as fair as possible is to use a 147 grain standard pressure for the nine millimeter because it's using pretty much the same concept we're taking a little bit heavier than normal bullet and we're pushing it down deeper in the case than normal which pretty much reduces your powder charge makes it a little bit more efficient in a short barrel i mean that's kind of why we see the micro version as 150 grain and it makes it more efficient less recoil less flash between the two of these but it does reduce your power a little bit so this right here is actually rated out of a four inch barrel at 890 feet per second and this is rated out of a four inch barrel at 1000 feet per second so what we're going to do is we're going to use different barrel lengths here to try to test them um, we got our five inch smith and wesson m and p we have our 3.2 inch taurus g2c we have our four inch smith and wesson 686 and we have our two inch taurus g2c and our barrel travel in both of these with typical ammo is almost identical between the two of these that's why i chose these particular barrel lengths so what we're going to do is we're going to go through the chronograph we're going to see what kind of velocity and accuracy we get at the same time and just be forewarned all i'm basically going to do today is a gel test and i think i might throw a few at the gong at 25 yards but pretty much just a gel test today to see how these two compare to each other so let's get started with the test and see how they compare all right i'm about five yards from the target four yards from the chronograph and i'm going to start with the short barrel of each round and then work my way up to the longer barrel of that round and because i have a limited supply of those 38 special rounds i'm just going to do three um three velocity reads on each and we'll see what we get with the shorter barrel 3.2 inch with this 147 grain nine millimeter 989 990 981 and i could tell from from right there this is a really accurate round our Point of aim and impact is good and our velocity is good you know for being rated at uh a thousand out of a four inch barrel you know this little pistol that's not bad uh let's we'll see how the longer barrel compares all right five inch barrel theoretically our increase of velocity should not be significant but we should still see some let's see how this does 1040 1043 1061, pretty decent. Uh, very low recoil, very good feeling round. Let's see how that 38 Special compares. All right, 38 Special rated at 890 feet per second out of a four inch barrel. Let's see what we get out of this two inch barrel. 826. 835. 812 so about what you might expect not much recoil at all let's see how the four inch barrel compares all right four inch barrel rated at 890 feet per second theoretically we should get around that and not much more than what we saw the two inch barrel but let's see what we get this is what everybody wanted to see right here 774 so that is interesting that is kind of what mr guns and gear got in his test i saw a few years ago a little bit less out of the four inch barrel. that's really interesting so at that point what we can see and what we can tell is that that round has just enough power to be efficient out of that short barrel but because it's such a long bullet once we go to a little bit longer barrel the only other effect that's happening is the friction of the bore 
so we don't get an increase out of a four inch barrel. Interesting. Let's hit our gel block and see how these all compare to each other. All right, let's hit our gel block with the nine millimeter and the 3.2 inch barrel. Let's see what we get here. All right, that's pretty impressive. Uh, we have our damage path here. Sometimes the camera doesn't line up exactly with what you're seeing here, but it's about 17 and three quarters. And our leading edge of that bullet is about 17 and one quarter. That is a lot of penetration and we have decent wound right here, wound path. I like to call it a damage path because it's not really a wound. This doesn't, this isn't alive, but <laughs> that's decent. That's pretty much what you're gonna want. That looks like good expansion too. Let's try the four inch barrel. All right, four inch barrel. I'll try to hit a little below that and see what we get here. And that's pretty interesting. We have perfect flowering from what I can tell right here um, on our damage path here. It's still about 18 and a half, our leading edge of our pedal here. It's right out about 18 inches is exactly. So I'm going to say that's perfect. Uh, that's a perfect load for a four inch barrel. And I'm saying it looks the same almost for the 3.2 inch barrel. We're not seeing a whole lot of difference here in this damage. Excellent. Let's try the 38 special. All right, I flipped our block upside down to get a better view. And we'll see how the stub nose does with this HST. away a lot of denim very interesting that's the first thing I'm noticing and that makes a whole lot of sense because that is a big old hollow cavity but we took this big chunk of denim right out let's see what we got in the gel block so what we got in the gel block here um, our damage path comes to about ten and a half our leading edge of our pedal is nine and a half to that so that's severely under penetrating that's like uh, you know half of what we saw with that nine millimeter Let's try the four inch barrel and see how that compares. All right, four inch barrel, we'll see what this does. So it is quite interesting that what we got with the four inch barrel is actually a little bit deeper penetration here. Our damage path comes to about 10 and three quarters, the leading edge of our bullet, about 10 and a quarter. It's still under penetrating, um, but that's interesting because we're hitting with less velocity, but we're going deeper. Uh, that typically means less expansion, but from what I can tell here, it doesn't look that much less expanded. So I'm gonna say that's not ideal performance for a 38 Special. We definitely get a lot better loads. But that is a very efficient load. They're pretty much pushing your efficiency as far as it can go. If going to a four inch barrel is going to decrease your velocity. But let's hit the gong and just see how these rounds compare to each other anyways. All right, let's try the short barrel first. I only have a couple rounds of 38 for each gun, but let's just go right to single action. See if I can hit this. center that's a decently accurate round out of a snub let's try the four inch barrel all right we'll do the same thing in the four inch barrel here single action finger tip on the trigger all right the first one shot right over the top I lowered my uh, aim down to the bottom of the plate and it hit pretty high so that makes a lot of sense because we have a lot more barrel to come out of and our recoil you know as a bullet comes out and our muzzle is jumping it's going to instead of leaving the barrel faster it's gonna jump up and kind of throw the bullet high 
that happens when we go you know pretty much sub 800 feet per second with a lot of rounds so let's see how the nine millimeter compares all right i started with the whole box of ammo so i'm going to do a lot more rounds with our nine millimeter so let's see how the 3.2 inch barrel does Let's try the five inch barrel. All right, five inch barrel MNP. Not as good that could just be me but i had a pretty good sight picture on that so what i'm going to say is it looks like from my subjective uh analysis here it looks like both of these did better out of short barrels obviously the 38 special did um but the nine millimeter we had a little bit more penetration uh with the shorter barrel i believe and our accuracy seemed perfect point of aim and impact as we're with the longer barrels we're seeing a little bit of something where they're kind of jumping up so i'm gonna say you know that that 147 grain nine millimeter even if you don't get the micro version of the 150 grain i'm guessing the 147 grain is pretty similar and it did excellent out of a micro pistol so overall i'm gonna say this nine millimeter absolutely crushed this one that 38 special round is terrible in my opinion um yeah, it has low recoil. It's very efficient out of a short barrel, but I'm not necessarily liking what I'm seeing overall. And, you know, considering, you know, Underwood, a Buffalo Bore 38 plus P round is double the energy of that one. And, you know, 50%, it's 50% less powerful than your typical 38 plus P like Remington Federal Winchester plus P. So, I don't know here. Um, not particularly great, I would say. I'm, and I, I kind of came to this analysis when I did water jug testing with this round a couple years ago. I think there's a lot better out there. And I had some people argue with me, no, the HST38 is the best. Well, I don't think it is, honestly. But that's my opinion, so that's what you get today. So as always, comment, share, and like, and thanks for watching.